Welcome back to 3 Delirium. My name is AJ, and I've recently gotten the great news that I'll be going back to work soon, so I need to make sure that all of my gear is ready to go too. So this little red tool right here is something that I use while I'm at my job. It uh, usually has other pieces that click onto the top and attach to other places when used in other contexts, but for when I use it, I only need it to be this basic red piece. But that does mean that it looks a little bit unrefined on top. There are uh, spaces and crevices for dirt to gather easily as well. So I want to make some sort of cap or piece to fit on here just to make it look a little nicer and, you know, reduce the possibility for dirt to collect. But for that, I'm going to use some precision and, and accurate measurements to make sure that I maybe even can just dry fit the piece to the top, not need to use any glue or anything like that. So I am going to need a bit more of a precise software for making my items than I've been doing recently. So luckily now I can go back to SketchUp uh, the first program I used when making 3D soft 3D uh, items to uh, to make this. But before I go to any software, I'm going to need to make some hard measurements. And uh, so stick around with us here, and we'll get right to that. You might notice there are multiple little compartments on the red piece that uh, I was originally going to make a different separate little cap for each one, but there are also some protrusions that stick well above the rest of the whole device itself, so I figured I might as well enclose all of it with one large cap. So after getting about halfway through all my measurements, I decided to kind of compensate for that and make one big one. I haven't used SketchUp in quite a while, and it was a little bit rusty getting back into the groove of things, but I knew that I needed a 2.7 millimeter gap around the edge so that it would meet up with the uh, top of the, of the rim of the red device. So I need to use some um, circles, which will be going down into the indentations, and so I could just set them at 2.7 from there, which is very convenient rather than trying to guess and check everything. But it was around this time that I realized I didn't even need to make uh, indentations that exactly matched the ones on the, on the red key. Uh, I just needed to make these little uh, round Lego brick type, type uh, studs and that'll work just fine. Uh, I made a little hole here for uh, matching up with one of the eyes. I usually hang this on a rope uh, while I'm at work and the extra little indentations for the protrusions didn't have to fit exactly everything else did. So I just made that a little bit bigger than everything else. So with this done, I went ahead and exported it and then imported it into the slicing software, and that's when an old friend of mine reared its ugly head, and the, my slicing software does not seem to like files directly from SketchUp. So, I had the idea to transfer this into Tinkercad first, and then uh, we should be able to uh, export it from Tinkercad then and try it again in the slicing software. But, alas, that didn't work either. So, next I had to go back into SketchUp. I need to make the final thickness at the very bottom that the gap that's created right there is a little too much, so I need to go back into SketchUp first, lengthen it a little bit, then take it back into Tinkercad, render the file, take that back into the slicing software, and now everything should work just fine. Now that it's snapped on, I shake it, it doesn't fall off, it dry fits perfectly, this is exactly what I wanted. It doesn't even come off very easily if I'm trying to remove it. But I have the whole the eye hole still here. I can put uh, a rope through to attach it, and it's good to go. This is one of the real reasons that I have a 3D printer. Like, it's so satisfying. This little cap right here doesn't really exist. I made it custom, and no one else in the world has a cap for their tool here like I do. But I was able to make one with 3D printing. It's very satisfying. But, that's all we have for you today. Tune in next week here in 3 Delirium where we can all hallucinate about the possibilities of 3D printing. I hope that I'll see you then.